My name is Noah Lindler, this is Miss Scarborough, and we're uh, here just wanted to talk a little bit about um, your experiences with the church. Sure. All right, so first, you know, how long have you been a member of our church? Well, I've been a member of our church twice. I was here in the 90s and then took a position in Florida, so we moved away, and then we came back uh, about a little over 10 years ago. 10 years. Yeah. Gotcha. This time. This time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. All righty. Um, and then you... Like you said, how you know how do you become a member for the first time? You know, the second time, obviously, you're coming yeah, back, but, but the first time, the first time, um, we had been uh, at the church over in North Augusta and just um, found this church. And Pastor Bowick was here initially, and uh, Melinda Jones, and it was a really good fit for Andrew um, with the, the youth group. Right. Yeah. Gotcha. So you know, that's kind of not super super um new um member but no not member for 40 50 years right what's something that kind of attracted you to the church oh boy um the church has always felt like home to me and um i remember that when we left the first time um my last sunday here we used to sit on the left hand side of the church at that point we were on like the fifth row back Gotcha. I was just crying okay. so hard about leaving it. I know everybody was looking at me going, what's wrong with that lady? And and I was just upset because I was leaving my family. I was leaving right. my home. Um, and so when we came back, we were coming back home. Right. And, and so it, it's always felt like that. And you always know how special it is. But when you go away, you really realize how special it is because there's nothing like it. Absolutely. All right, so um, you know, what activities within their church do you all participate in? Well, um, I do a couple of different things. I do um, a cook team with um, Lee Tuvano and right. a couple of ladies, and um, I really enjoy that. And then in addition to that, I, I work with the staff, uh, with the staff ministry. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, well, this is going to be probably a very hard one. But could you pick one memory that you classify as your favorite? Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. It's really hard. It, it would probably just be um, something that happened with Pastor who helped me through a really difficult time when my dad was ill and gotcha. and David Harbison was oh, part yeah. of it. And it would just be that. Yeah. And they're just oh, absolutely. amazing men. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Um, what is one thing you think that is, we do great here? One thing you really think we do well? Right. Well, I think we're great at welcoming people, but I Definitely. think our music program is, I know it is, it's the best ever. I agree. And <laughs> we're very blessed that oh, yeah. we've had Sandra here for as long Absolutely. as we have, and the great choirs that we have here, all the way down to the little children, so music, I guess, would be it. All right. If there's one thing you could do to make reservation any better, what would that be, thing be? I know it's going to be pretty hard, but... I think the only thing that will make it better is our growth okay. and bringing in new families, and I'm even going to say younger families, yeah. with children. I mean, I remember when you were little. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and it, it was a long time ago. Oh, but, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, having children here that grow up in the church is the key to our success. And Absolutely. I think that's the only thing that's going to make us better is just outreach and growing and attracting attracting new families. Absolutely. So how do you, uh, well, what kind of changes have you seen you know, the church go through in the past couple of years since you've been here? Well, obviously our new building. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> our new building. Um, this last year, I mean, who could have first, first seen that? I mean, oh. Yeah. And I have to say, I think we've done a really good good job oh, definitely. in very trying circumstances and all of us try to feel our way through it and I really do think we've done a great job of trying to manage church through COVID. Exactly. And, yeah. I, I, and I think our staff have too and I think that would, would be one thing I would want to ask everybody is to please continue to pray for our staff Amen. and not just the church family because we need to pray for them but please remember the staff. Amen. All right, so uh, how do you see the church kind of changing in the future? Well, I hope just, you know, we continue to grow and, and bring new families in is, is the big thing for us. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so it's, it's something in the church, you know, a sermon, an activity you've done, just helping out. 
moved you to tell other people about you know the church and your own way with the church and um, things you've been able to do tell others about your faith you know, reach out try to volunteer more things like that um i like to tell people about my cook team i mean I have, it's a great group of ladies and you know even though we're only together one night a month um you know they've become really great friends and we, right. we text and talk and you know, it's just one of those things that I look forward to oh, yeah. is my time with them. And, and I do tell others about that. And they always laugh because they know I don't cook. <laughs> I just follow directions really well from Lee Tuvano. I do. Yeah. Right. What do you, uh, you know, when you're talking to your friends and your family about the church, what do you kind of tell them about it? Um, I tell them that it's, it's really like a family for me. And I also tell them it's my time each week where, you know, it doesn't matter how maybe difficult a week has been, it's, it's my time where I go in, you know, I hear the word, I hear the music, I receive the sacrament, I get refreshed, and it's almost like there's a reset button that happens before I walk out the door, and then I'm ready for the week. I, I feel ready to take on the week. Absolutely. I yeah. feel that too. Good. <laughs> Alright, is there anything else you'd like to add about, you know, just experience and stuff at the church or anything else? No, I'm, I'm really excited about the 100 years, and I think we just all need to pray for continued growth, and and, and everybody just try to, to stay active and, and just invite people to church. Absolutely. <laughs>